So this uh, <clears throat> this explains why we have a, a surge in immigration uh, over the border, illegal invasion of people. Mexico became the top U.S. trading partner at the beginning of 2023. $263 billion during the first four months of this year. So Mexico is working with Biden to do as a trade partner. Biden's got all these Mexican-owned companies. So you know they've got their companies, they're putting their companies here. And we're trading with Mexico, which means there's, there's more trafficking. There's When they're buying and selling regular stuff, you know, humanity being humanity and this Mexico being Mexico, they're trading drugs, definitely trading drugs as much as they can, illegal arms, human trafficking, anything illegal they can trade, along with all the good stuff, right? So, <clears throat> they definitely are trading with us. They definitely don't have or the ability to control crime in their country. And the products we get, I don't know how bad or good those are, but that wouldn't matter to people trading. As long as they, they're going to want us to force to buy and stuff. Oh my God, they're surpassing China. Taco eating heck, heck, we're just be talking to Taco eating mo mofo. Grab a burrito. The thing is, I like the Chinese. They, they get married. I mean, these these people just have bastard kids. And over 50% of them are born without out of wedlock. This is some Pope John, Pope Francis thing, I think. And all the Catholics. Because it's, they're, they're Catholic people, the Mexican and Spain and Italy and all them, they have their thing together, right? You know? And I don't know. Then you got the UK and, and all the monarchs, they got their stuff over there zapping all their oil and, and other resources as much as they can. So they figure, well, if the monarchs get money from Mexico, why would anybody else matter? You know? And Biden's like, yeah, man, we're real Catholic monarch. fairy tale Kennedy family kind of thing they're all they're all monarchs of each other you know. they're more rebellious than a, a human can understand and, they, and they, they're like no it's not rebellion when we do rebel it's you guys are the ones that rebel because you won't be Catholic do what the Pope says. And it's like, they believe, but basically it's just the Roman government that decides as Christianity because that's what happened to their people there. Their government, you know, and declined. And they lost wars and people were converted to Christianity and then they changed it around. They said, well, here's what we'll do. We'll, we'll make a, a Christian Christianity like our pagan religion. That's what they ended up doing. And they were so tyrannical. They were worse and crueler than 
before pagans you know I mean they were they're very impressive tyrannical people in the name of Jesus Christ They walk wealth in the name of Jesus Christ, like all the evangelists, everybody else who wants money for religion, but it's, it's backwards. I mean, they, I don't know everything, but I know what Catholics do, they do. partner they call it. Okay, so how much goods Four hundred seventy five billion Mexico That's imports. Where's the exports? Three hundred twenty three billion. So we lost out of 100 billion. Oh, they're, they, they're providing our, our food. Like we can't grow food. Six hundred thirteen billion. Eight hundred fifty five billion. Well, that's sad that Biden really wanted to stop the, the American. See, because farmers in America are American people, you know? A lot of them are colonial. And uh, Biden, and, and the, the people who live in the city hate farmers, right? The tech people, everybody... And all the real estate people want the land. They want that land owned by by tech people. They don't want people allowed to live who are white, American, colonial, American, or, or Christian. They don't like Christian people. The Catholic
Catholics didn't own the land, so they get they get angry. And um, when when they get office, like Biden's got office, and they, and they they're trying to. So what they do is try to replace the the American farmer, who's a white person, with like the Amish and the Mennonite and all them. They're trying to to replace. Who the American farmers are, if not do away with them, because and by using either Canadian or Mexican, because we get a lot of Canadian, a lot of wholesalers like uh, United Salad in um, Oregon and Northwest Washington. um, United Salad, they were using Canada, buying their groceries from them. And selling them more expensive on the market than they would a regular uh, the American groceries, so they get more profit that way. So that's our situation. They get they get, they're they're that disloyal. That's the the American farmers. They're not on the side of at all because. They're left. American farmers generally are the Republican. So that to to fight against the Republican and our freedom and they, our, our farmers and the people who live rural live on the agriculture. Generally, they're military um, families have been you know served in all the wars, some for centuries. And you know, I mean, they when one time comes they're who are fit and know how to work and and live out and, and go do the, the war stuff you know and they work with machines they work with the big farm machines so the, they know how to get out there and work and and work together and, and be good workers on military right they're not all pampered like people in the city and that's uh, that's a no-no to the, uh, the Democrat at, at current time. Unless, unless you're going to be uh, growing marijuana. So. <clears throat> no good. Biden really did this. Not against Biden. Every Democrat is involved did this to American people just it, it's ridiculous we don't need to be rely on, on Mexico there's it's, there's no need we can grow our own vegetables um, we can grow our food that's not even sustainable at all they want it you know no that's too dangerous that country is too dangerous like China. China is a dangerous country, you know. China and Mexico are dangerous. So we need our our uh, our farmers need to to be free. They need to be have. You know, I mean, we don't need a bunch of city corporations. We need to. We need people to be able to have a farm and, and earn a living, whether it's 50000 a year or whatever is a, a livable, you know, income. And uh, grow our own food, raise our own cattle, our own sheep, and uh, whatever else, you know, pigs. Definitely... And, and not only that, not only that, if the fishermen were on the Republican side, <clears throat> then of course the fish, they would give that to Japan or, or some other country, right? And oh, if they're not Asian or Chinese or some Catholic, the Catholics are going to be all against them. 